Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I have in shop 2012 Toyota RAV4 with only 86,000 miles on the odometer. She's a little bit rare, V6 engine RAV4. The owner brought her for regular service, meaning it's just the engine oil and filter change and when she arrived we talked about the car in the parking lot and I asked is there anything else you might need for me to fix it or is there anything else what's going on with the vehicle and she said yes actually I was going to ask you when I'm driving and when I reach higher speeds like a highway speeds I have a feeling that that hood Engine hood is bouncing up and down. And there in the parking lot, I said to her, it should be easy fix. And I actually showed her how to adjust that entire system, how to stop that hood from bouncing. We did it in the parking lot, but for the purpose of this video, I will all put it back and we will look at it together. So first thing when we were outside I did is to confirm the complaint. So I went here in the front and I said, okay, let's see. And look at that. That hood has a huge play. And I said, okay, that's obvious. You are right. It must be bouncing up and down. I'll show you the detail right now. So you can observe this gap and the hood and you will see it there is really huge play look at it how it's bouncing up and down and that's because the bump stops which are under and the latch which is ho holding it close they are out of adjustments so I said to her please pop the hood for me and I will show you how to deal with this that's what she did for me Right here, that pops the hood. Here is somewhere the safety latch, it's right here. I will lift it up. Use the rod right here. And that gives me a chance to show you how to adjust it. Hopefully it's the bump stops. And it will, I already told you I did that. Or it could be adjustment of that entire ledge. Let me show you. Some models will have one stop, adjustable stop. It's made of rubber here and one here. This RAV4, if I step away, has two additional. It's right here and right here. If you look on the hood of the vehicle, you will see where they are touching. This is the outer ones. The inner ones, inner and outer. Sometimes there is also clear tape on it. I think there are remnants right here. I'm touching that tape. So this one has a V6, as we said, to GRFE. And now let's see what needs to be done. So we can hope and you can hope on your vehicle that it will be the easy adjustment. And basically, these rubber stops, they can be turned. They are basically roughly in the body, in that metal, screwed in. So if I go clockwise, they will be actually coming in and they will be smaller and smaller and I want to do the opposite. So what I did in front of her, look at it. I turned on this one. What did I do? It's coming up. I was moving it maybe this way I will go extreme look at it you see this kind of like a thread and it's growing and it's becoming bigger and bigger so that was just to show you I will go back what half turn and we will see if that's correct so I will do the same here on the outer this let's say it's the beginning so half turn one turn 
Are they okay? Maybe this one was too high. And now, don't forget also the inner ones. And it's uh, exactly the same, it's just this plastic. It's kind of in the way of seeing it. So, I will go this way. And on this one, this way. And all we have to do, just gradually raise them. So they support the hood. And that bouncing, that, that play which was there, will stop. Now, word of caution. You don't want to get too high and put too much tension on the locking system, which is right here. If you do that and you overdo it, you might be slightly already bending this hood. Also, when you will try to use the release latch which is here and we use that right here well it might put too much tension on that cable which is right here you can see it and something could break so let's see if what we did just now is enough and we are good to go it's all the fine game fine adjustments See one more time, might be too high. No, probably not. So look at it guys. You grab that and you feel it. And look there's zero, zero play. Which might tell me, might be too much tension on that cable. I will leave you there and I will pull on it. Feel the resistance and we will go from there. Let's see. Oh, that was super easy. I barely touched, I barely pulled on that lever. There was absolutely no resistance from the cable. And I feel everything's fine. If I want it, I can back them a little bit down. One, maybe just a quarter turn. What the quarter does. I will close it. Oh yeah. And there is absolute miniature click in it. And that's the best one. This will be not bumping up and down while she's driving yet. I don't worry about that mechanism, that latch being stuck. I will open it one more time just to feel the easiness of it. Oh yeah. This is absolutely perfect. And we are finished. I will just show you if this doesn't work, this four, what can be done more. Let's say that you had the same problem and raising those stops didn't work. Let's say you turn them counterclockwise and they fell out. They came all the way out. So in this case, that means the latch most likely moved and if you look, there are two 10 millimeter bolts here and that latch can go up and down. Therefore, you will adjust again the area where that latch will be grabbing this hook. So, again, you will screw those back at least, I will say at least one turn. Make sure they are nicely in and they will not fall out. And you will be adjusting this latch there's possibility that the latch moved up one of the bolts may have been loose or something like that so when it went up there will be not enough of adjustment with those bump stops therefore first this needs to be correctly placed in the right area and only after that you will be playing with the bump stops in our case, it was not needed. The play, the initial play, I will say was two millimeters only. Now we have a zero. And all we did, I think it was only one and three quarts turn on each of them. And we are perfectly fine and she can enjoy this vehicle again. And that was another helpful video on this Toyota maintenance youtube channel for you 
If you enjoy it or if you think it's helpful, please always give a thumb up and stay tuned. I have way more coming your way soon. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this channel. And I will catch you in the next video. See ya.